My name is Andy Walsh. Uh, I'm a senior studying political science, uh, and I'm the student body president at NC State. I'm a first-generation college student. Both my brothers before me, I have two older brothers, Chris and Josh. They've both gone to school. Uh, Chris went to Valparaiso University, which is in Indiana, and then Josh went to NC State. He graduated last May. Uh, but being a first-generation college student, both my parents met in the military, uh, and they're still reservists to this day. So. Uh, getting in was kind of a was a big deal. Uh, it is for anyone in my family, and, and both my parents really value education. Uh, and they've sent us to private school and high school and, and middle school, and uh, really wanted us to get a good education. So coming to state was just the next step in that progression. When I got into NC State, I actually applied as a sports management uh, major, and uh, I I got accepted. And I the day I got accepted, I got the notification sent to me. I was like, I want to change it. I didn't well, I didn't want to do it anymore. I thought that's what I really wanted to do. And I changed my major to political science, and probably the best decision I made uh, at NC State to this day. I think, you know, Chas again. It it has such a, a plethora of options that you can do once you get into the school. There's so many different courses you can explore. A lot of the majors coincide. You do a lot of courses within. Uh, interdisciplinary like so as a political science major I still had to take some philosophy courses I still had to take some psychology courses um, and some English courses and it, it's a great school for that because you get a little taste and sampling of everything and the great thing about that is that it opens opportunities for double majors and minors uh, and there's things that I really appreciated about that I, I love that as a chess major you had to get to a certain level in uh, foreign language component I think that's really really important moving forward as a student, it'll make you more well-rounded student to be stronger in a foreign language capacity. So, um, you know, I, I think if you're coming to school, if you're coming to NC State, you're not sure what you really want to do, certainly take some courses in, in CHAS, and, and I think it'll kind of set your mind at least to maybe get a minor in the college uh, and, and hopefully make you take some more courses there outside of the College of Engineering or College of Textiles. I know CHAS gets the Red-Headed Stepchild Award sometimes, and uh, you know, obviously, historically, we weren't founded on being a humanities school or a liberal arts school, but every, every degree, every step of, of your educational experience, you're going to have to write papers or you're going to have to do something in your job that involves creative thinking and analyzing. And I think CHAS can provide students that, and it has such a strong uh, faculty and curricula core that it, it's, I mean, a great asset to the university for sure. Hopefully, we'll have more and more talented and, and qualified students coming through the, through the ranks, and they'll continue to strengthen their graduate programs here that, so that students that go through undergraduate also want to transition and, and go into more of the graduate programs that they're offering. Uh, I think we already have an incredible faculty in a lot of the departments, but to continue to bring on more faculty that inspire students for generations to come, I think, is really key for the success of CHAS moving forward. And as the school moves forward, I think one thing that, that I always tell students and prospective students as well uh, is that, you know, every college has its classes, has its majors, and, and the faculty and the students will change over time. But the great thing about every university is they have their unique traditions, and they have those things that will, will always be unique to their universities. Um, and that's why I've loved doing the tradition stuff. Uh, I've loved working on publications like The Brick, the, the book that all the students get when they're incoming freshmen. And, and I challenge all the students that, that get The Brick to do the traditions in there and feel a part of their community because when they graduate and it's 20, 30, 40 years down the road and they're talking to their kids about their NC State experience, those are the memories that they're going to want to look back on. They're going to want to look back on doing the Krispy Kreme Challenge or participating in Camp Out. Or, um, or making Dean's List. You know, those are the things that they're gonna try to remember and pass on, and that's really, really important. Hopefully, the students that graduate from CHAS, uh, they, they see the, the benefit that the college played to them, and they're willing to give back. I mean, I think that that's something that's so important that a lot of our graduates in our college don't do, uh, and feeling like NC State gave something to them that was so valuable that they'd wanna uh, give back, not just financially, but other ways to their college uh, once they leave. So that's really, really important. Thank you.